Hello. In this video, I will go over how to set up your Bell Manage demo, explain the architecture, and show several of the standard reports. Starting with the architecture, the picture here shows the devices and connection to the server. In the demo, the database and server in the gray box is hosted on our server. In the full version, this can be hosted on-premises, on your cloud, or on our cloud. The most automated way to run Discovery is to push the installable client. Any free deployment tool will work, and we also have the option to run a clientless version. To download the client, use the link sent to your email to get to the login page. Your credentials are in the email as well. Once you are logged in, the first step is to click the Discovery tab. You can use either the installable client or the clientless option. For the installable client, click on the tab. Select the correct operating system and click download. Microsoft Defender or other similar antivirus might prompt you to install the application. After you accept the license agreement, the Bell Managed client will start discovering your device and create a network map for the subnet. After this is complete, it will upload to the Bell Managed demo server and your reports will be viewable within five to 10 minutes. Feel free to run the Bell Managed client demo on several devices. The hosted Bell Managed demo uses HTTP port 80 to post the results of discovery back to Bellark's hosted demo server. If the Bellark client is not able to send this to the demo server, it may be because your firewall is blocking HTTP uploads. Naturally, this would not occur if you were to run Bell Manage server on your own network or host it on your own cloud service. You can tell if the Bellark client is not able to upload by right-clicking the I in the systems tray and selecting Show Upload Status. If the Bellark client is not able to upload automatically, you can do so manually for the demo by selecting Clientless Profile and selecting Upload. The file you want is in program files slash x86 slash bellarc slash bellmonitor and is the yourcomputername.bci file. You do not need to use the clientless profile to manually upload. As for the reporting, I suggest you start going through all of the bellmanage reports in the left drop down menu and work your way to change history. To do so, start by clicking bell manage. Within the systems list, you can view the baseline data for each individual system. All of this data from each device will be put into roll-up reports on the left. Of particular interest, you'll be able to see the last used times of all software from before Bell Manage is installed. The key to the last used times is below the chart. Please take your time to go through all of the roll-up reports. This is the admin section. It is unavailable in the demo due to the server being hosted by us. In the admin section, you can assign users to any level in the group structure. There are seven different user types displayed here. There is automatic grouping, which is a powerful feature of Bell Manage because it allows you to group your reports based on your organization structure, i.e. using Active Directory OUs, IP subnet addresses, computer names, usernames, or any combination of these. In the admin section, you can control the upload schedule. The default is 4 a.m. local time once per day, but this can be completely modified. Please note that Discovery takes up very little network traffic. A single report is around 50 k bytes. For software asset management, you will be able to add or upload your purchase records, and you will be able to set up compliant versions of software if needed. Custom reporting is possible. Please let us know if you're looking for data that is not shown in the standard reports. Enjoy the Bell Manage hosted demo, and if you have any questions at all, please let us know. You can reach us by emailing info at bellarc.com or calling us at 1-978-461-1100.